Uh, much of the conversation is going to be about Congress and the Biden administration, and there's plenty to talk about. <clears throat> there's plenty to talk about. Congress has been very active this year with um, multiple committees dealing with um, prescription drug related legislation. Not all of it focused on PBMs, but certainly a lot of legislation um, focused on pharmacy benefit managers, um, multiple committees on the House and the Senate. And we'll be talking about the legislation that we see that's been moving through committees and then what the prognosis is for that legislation, <clears throat> some of it getting to the president's desk for a signature. As well, <clears throat> I mean, there's so many things going on in the administration as well. Uh, just yesterday, uh, with the announcement of the first 10 drugs that will be part of the Inflation Reduction Act uh, provision uh, that allows CMS to negotiate uh, payment rates for um, high cost medications. And so that first list of 10 drugs has come out. Um, negotiations will begin in October um, and conclude uh, the following August. And then the, the, you know, assuming that the courts determine, depending on whether the courts determine if, if that process can go forward, because there are a number of lawsuits that have been brought um, by pharma itself, as well as individual pharmaceutical companies. And so those will have to play out. Um, but as, assuming it's allowed to go forward, uh, then those we would see those negotiated drug prices go into effect in 2026. And then the next series of drugs uh, would be announced uh, for negotiation. So, and that's going to go on for several years, assuming, again, large assumption here, assuming that that policy does not uh, get determined to be unconstitutional in some way. So we'll have to see how it plays out in the courts, but we will talk about sort of all the things that are going on in the administration as well, but, but with a real focus on what's happening on Capitol Hill. You know, that's a good question. I, I I assumed that they would go after the drugs that are um, high volume and that um, are high cost for the program. Uh, there were a couple drugs on the list um, that that were sort of, that were certainly high cost, but um, low volume drugs. So no, no real surprises. I, I, it was interesting to see how many diabetes related drugs were on the list. Um, but I think they're really the target is just the most expensive drugs, you know, the biggest cost for beneficiaries. Um, and, but again, we will have to wait to see if the courts slow this process down. Um, there could be an injunction. My guess is that some of the manufacturers will seek an injunction so that the negotiations don't start in October. And we'll just have to see how the courts react.